guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. Well, tonight we are going to be making the most trendy item right now, chaffles. And I'm going to be making them in both a sweet and a savory version. So come along with me and learn how to make this very easy keto creation. So chaffles, I don't know where they began, but they are a waffle made out of egg and cheese, generally, and you can use different types of cheese. And you could also do them in a full-size waffle maker, although I'm going to be doing mine in a mini dash waffle maker that was a gift from my sister. She saw them and was very excited, and so she went on a hunt for them and you can find them locally. You can also find them online and they're usually under $10. So, um, and my sister right now is practicing more of a keto carnivore style. So she's eating more meat and less vegetables. So this creation, because it's made with just eggs and cheese, gives her a wider variety of food choices if she still wanted to have, say, like a sandwich type idea, she could still do that with just the egg and cheese. So come along with me and let's get started. So the first chaffle recipe that we are going to make is going to be a savory one. And before we start our process, I want to talk about my Dash mini waffle maker. This is what I personally like to make my chaffles in because it is the size of a traditional sandwich or uh, say like an ego waffle if you will it's about that size but these are under ten dollars mine was a gift but we will have one linked for amazon you can find them locally i have uh, heard people finding them at target so you can find them but it's very simple and it's very small i love my dash egg cooker we have a, re a review a very old video actually of cj reviewing the dash egg cooker that is up on our channel but I really like the Dash brand. So I'm going to plug that in while I'm talking about the other ingredients. And it just has a blue light and it does get very warm. It says hot surface. It gets very warm where we're going to be working, so definitely be careful. When the blue light goes off, you will know that it's ready to cook. So I have sprayed the inside just with a little bit of avocado oil spray because we're gonna be using cheese. It will get oily after this, so you shouldn't need to additionally spray it once you have begun this. If you decide to make more than one chaffle, which we will because we're going to be making a sandwich out of it, you shouldn't need to spray it after the first time, like right when you buy it or when you freshly have washed it because the cheese will add a natural oiliness to it. So we are going to be making BLT, so I have the L for lettuce, the T for tomato. I also have the B for bacon, the most important part. But you could make any kind of sandwich with this. You could do a breakfast sandwich, you know, any kind of lunch meat. You could use, make it into hamburger buns, whatever you would like. In my personal experience, which is still quite limited with this because I just received it a few days ago, but I have found that using the ultra thin slices of cheese gives you the crispiest chaffle. So if your desire is super crispy in your chaffle, then finding the ultra thin cheese is the best bet. I'm going to be using Sargento's. I found mine at Walmart, so most grocery stores carry this, but you'll see that it is very thin and that helps crisp up the cheese very quickly and it is quite paper thin more thin that you would than what you would be able to get if you you can see it kind of see the light through it if you were to try and cut it yourself it would you would be hard pressed to get it that thin now when we move on to the sweet though I'm going to be using mozzarella because mozzarella is basically flavorless and I don't have a thin sliced mozzarella, so I'm just going to be using regular mozzarella, but I will be using a little less of it, but it doesn't have hardly a flavor at all. That's why it will work well in our sweet version. Okay, so 
in a measuring cup, I'm going to be cracking one egg. And this one egg will make at least two chaffles. And I'm just going to take my whisk and just beat up the egg. So you can see my blue light is now dark. So that means that my waffle maker is heated and ready to go. So I need two pieces of cheese. And I am going to just slice off the corners of my cheese just to make it very reminiscent of the circular area of my waffle iron. I just find that it fits in there very well if it's slightly circular. And of course you can just eat these little pieces of cheese if you want. So, remember it's very hot. I am going to take my first piece of cheese and lie it down. And you'll see that it starts to melt, which is what we want. So I'm going to just pour a little bit of egg in here. Just to slightly cover the cheese. It doesn't have to be a great deal of egg. And then I'm going to put on my other slice of cheese and I'm going to close it. And I'm going to set my timer for three minutes. What happens if you open it too soon? It'll be gooey, like an undone waffle. Okay, I've used my tongs to open it. You can if you would like, but you'll see how crispy it is. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's very crispy, which is the idea, because we're going for that crispiness, almost like toasted bread. So I'm gonna put this on the plate, because this makes one at a time. Now, when we make the sweet version, you only need to make one unless you want to. You can have two if you want. I'm not the keto police. And after all, this is just eggs and cheese. So the macros are very good on it. But for our sandwich purposes, for our BLT, we want two, two slices of bread, if you will. So we're going to repeat what we already did. And you can see that we're still slightly oily here in our waffle maker. So we really don't need to add any more spray. I just added the spray because my waffle iron was clean. Okay, so once again, we are gonna put our slice of cheese down and just kind of wait for it to start melting through. That just kind of helps us gauge how much egg to put in. I still am going to be working on that one egg, so it really does not take much egg. And then my other piece of cheese and down we go I don't know if you can hear but it is very crispy it is very crispy and it's golden and beautiful with crispy cheese so while we are waiting for the other slice of our chaffle bread I'm going to start assembling this BLT for CJ so I'm going to be using a little bit of mayonnaise And this could really be made into any kind of sandwich that you like or have missed on this lifestyle. I've got some sliced tomatoes here. And if you don't prefer nightshades, you could absolutely choose a different kind of sandwich. Um, you could use some avocado if you wanted. You could also put some additional cheese on here if you desired. But I'm going to keep it super traditional with just the regular BLT ingredients. Some nice crispy bacon here. So if you wanted to, you could, you know, do a batch of these, like do it several times and then you could just freeze them or keep them in the refrigerator for other times. That would totally work. So, you know, almost like an ego waffle, if you will. I keep using that as an example, but they're the same circumference. 
So you would have them in your freezer or your refrigerator. You could retoast them in your toaster. So if you didn't want to do this each time you were going to make a sandwich, you could actually make them ahead of time and freeze them. And then you would just be able to toast them or microwave them, whatever you'd like. So I'm going to put mayonnaise on the other side of this beautiful BLT chocolate. There it is in its beautiful goldenness. So this is chaffle times two, and this time it's going to be sweet version. So we are going to start out with basically our same ingredients. I still have a little bit of egg left from the sandwich that I made for CJ, so this really does go a long way. This is still the same one egg. I am going to crack another egg in here and whisk it up also. Our waffle maker is still already preheated. Okay, so remember it's very hot. Now we're already oily from our savory version, so we don't need to spray it again. I am going to add a little bit of squeezy sweetener. You could use stevia or whatever you like, just to give it a little touch of sweetness because once again, this is going to be a sweet version of our chaffle. And we are going to be having a little bit of sweet toppings on it at the end. So for this one, I'm going to be using mozzarella and it would probably work a little better if you had shredded mozzarella in a bag because that tends to have a little bit of cellulose with, with it and that makes things a little drier I only have fresh mozzarella and you can kind of tell that it's quite moist and so um, a little bit of a drier mozzarella would probably work just a touch better but this works okay because I have used it but we are going to use less cheese and we're just going to sprinkle that kind of intermittently through here just a little bit just some little pieces like so and let that start to melt down like we did with the cheddar, just to give us a gauge of how much egg we're going to put in. And then once again, we're going to add some egg. So it's not completely covered. And then we're just gonna add just a little bit more cheese, just a little bit. And for the sweet one, I have found that we need to cook it a little longer than we did our savory one. So I have found personally that between five and seven minutes works a lot better for the sweet version because I'm using the mozzarella cheese and the mozzarella cheese takes longer to set up than that super thin Colby Jack that we were using. It's, it is more of a wet, Product. So you might use a little less time if you use a pre-packaged mozzarella instead of the super fresh mozzarella that I'm using for this. But I'm going to let mine go for at least five minutes and then I'm going to check on it. So these are the things that I'm going to put on my sweet chaffle when it comes out. I'm going to be using a little bit of Legendary Foods and this is peanut butter with chocolate chips. It is a no sugar added product. It's made with real chocolate chips that are sweetened with erythritol. So um, this was a gift, but I know that it's available on Amazon and they have different flavors. They have one that's pecan pie. They have blueberry muffin. They also have just regular peanut butter. If you can't find a product like this or if this doesn't sound good to you, you could ab absolutely use almond butter. You could use um, just regular natural peanut butter. I happen to like it. I happen to like peanut butter on these because one of my very favorite things, not only as a child, but also as an adult, is peanut butter sandwiches. I used to love them for all occasions. And I noticed eating this sweet one, it reminded me a great deal of a toasted English muffin in texture with peanut butter on it, which was one of my very favorite foods. So I'm quite excited about this. So I'm going to be putting just a little bit of that on mine. I'm also going to probably sprinkle just a little bit of powdered natural sweetener and I'm just going to 
zhuzh it on top. And then I will probably put just a little dollop of canned whipped cream. Okay, so I ended up going for about four minutes with this one. You can see that the mozzarella cheese is all crisped up on there. And our texture is just a little bit softer with this one than it was with our other chaffle, and that's simply because it's made with a different type of cheese. Once again, it's a softer cheese. You could also use um, cream cheese if you wanted in this step, but I have only done it with the mozzarella cheese. But it's nice and crispy. All the cheese is very crisp. So it is still, and the longer it sits on the plate, the crispier it will get. So I'm gonna take my peanut butter, and I'm just going to spread a little bit. And the serving size is actually two tablespoons. I'm not going to be using two tablespoons. There's our powdered sugar natural sweetener. And then the last flourish, I'm going to put just a little dollop of whipped cream. And you have to say boop after because that's tradition. So there is our chocolate peanut butter chaffle. Okay, CJ, it's chaffle night. Wow. Yes. I can't wait. Double chaffle. Wow, I can't wait. Because you have got both a chaffle BLT and a chocolate peanut butter chaffle. Wow. You're one lucky guy. Yep, I am. Chaffles everywhere. It's rain and chaffles. It's definitely crispy and crunchy. It's good. Um, got the texture of toast when you're eating it. So yeah, I can see why people would like this. How does it compare to like 90 second bread or other keto breads, is it? Mm, this isn't as eggy. Yeah, this isn't as eggy. That's what like I'm I wouldn't have even known you put egg in it, but I was here. So right. this one isn't eggy at all. 90 second bread, sometimes you can get the, the eggy eggs. taste. Yeah. So yeah, I like this. It's a good option for people. I think people will like good. it. And the macros have got to be good because there's, like nothing. there's nothing but yeah. cheese and yeah. eggs. So the macros have to be really good. Right. So then this is the... Chocolate peanut butter chocolate. Mm -hmm. And this was with mozzarella cheese. Yes. Okay. So this feels a little softer. It's nice. Um, I do taste a little egg with this one. Yeah. Just slightly though. And it might be the cheese that I'm tasting. But it's good. It's still nowhere close to like 90 second bread. Egginess. No. I mean, because I like 90 second bread. But that is something you can get you know, from 90 second bread. And if you never had 90 second bread, we'll link to that. We did a video a long time ago with that. So it's good. I think it's, people- I mean, It's not as heavy as 90 second oh, bread. Oh yeah, no, that's a good point. This is really light. Because 90 second bread has almond flour in it, so. Yeah, this is not light heavy, but <laughs> this is light eating it. It's not just like heavy on your stomach. I mean, it's really light. It's really light and airy. And um, I wouldn't know that this is cheese. Yeah, that's what's nice about it. I wouldn't know that. Yeah. I wouldn't know that this is made with cheese and egg. And as I keep eating it, I probably got more into more of the peanut butter and the with the chocolate. Right. I think um, I don't even taste it. Well, I mean, you could just do butter and syrup, too, and just yeah. make it like a regular waffle. Yeah. Well, I thought that's what chaffles were. I thought they were just like waffles. Which you totally could do. Yeah, yeah. so... But I think they're lighter, almost like a crepe, because if I'm not mistaken, I think like French crepes are 
mostly just egg. And yeah, that's probably a good yeah. that's probably a good comparison. Yeah. Like a crepe. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good. I like it. Good job, baby. I think people will like it. And they can get they can be part of the chaffle craze. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it's going a nice up. keto option. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Hi CJ. Hi. So this is our chaffle savory taste test take two. Two. Yes. Um, not because your first one wasn't delightful, because it totally was. But I added some more seasoning to this particular batch. I added some everything but the bagel seasoning. So right. I want to see your honest reaction. And I had to, I had to you know take one for for the team. For that the was team. very generous of you. There it is. I was going to say, I don't really taste in season, <laughs> season them, but no, there it is. It's good. Ooh, there it is. No, oh, it's good. Um, I like it. Yeah. I think you're probably going to make put more seasoning in it. Probably. I'm still experimenting. Yeah, but I guess it shows people that you can do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you can probably it. add cayenne if you want it spicy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. Really good, baby. Okay. I'm thinking that we're gonna probably be eating more of these chapels. That's <laughs> good. Thanks, baby. Okay. Bye, bye bye. Thanks again tonight, you guys. We hope that you enjoy the chaffles and you can get on the chaffle train or chaffle caboose or chaffle something. Anyway, we hope that you enjoy this and that it gives you something to add to your repertoire of ketogenic foods so that you can keep following this lifestyle. We hope that you will come back and see us again, and please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. We release new recipes every Sunday, and we also have Keto Conversations on Wednesdays. Occasionally, we will have ketogenic food unboxings or what we eat in, on keto. Occasionally, we'll have bonus recipes like we did last week. So please stay tuned for all of those and check out our blog at cjsketokitchen.com if you would like further recipes. The recipe for this, also macros, nutritional information, other recipes, other recipe ideas, those are all found there. We are also on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, pretty much anywhere. <laughs> and that's always cjsketokitchen.com. So we hope that you'll come back again and see us, and we'll see you next time. Okay, CJ, this is Sweet Chaffle Taste Test Take Two. All right. And you've got a peanut butter and jelly chaffle. Yeah, so this is an, another one that we experimented with, or you experimented with. And mm, it's good. I like it. Tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And um, yeah, it's nice. So I think people can do a lot with these chaffle things. Blank Just, canvas. Yeah, so yeah, that's not bad. And we'll put this on the blog. Yeah, we won't add this to the video. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.